fixing the money thing. Hi, I'm Gary, and we have a fabulous topic today. And my wife, Drenda, host of The Drenda Show, is with us. And Glad man, we're excited here. to be here. It's Glad just a, to be here. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. I've got a question for you, Drenda. Is it okay if I ask it here it in front is. of everyone? Go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. I trust you. Would you like to climb a 13 story ladder? No. I don't even have to Why think not? about it. I don't even have to think about it. Um, because I like a roller coaster, because I'm secure in the roller oh, coaster. I see. Okay. But, but climbing that high on a ladder, there's nothing holding you in there. I prefer not to do that. Yeah, do you know there are people in our culture that are paid to climb 13 story ladders? Firemen. <laughs> Firemen, that's right. And women. <laughs> and they have a special truck that does this. They have a picture yes. right now on the screen the CR 137 is a fire truck that goes up 13 stories high. That's pretty high on one ladder, I agree. But uh, you'd probably be glad to hear this. All right. They require that ladder to be tested once a year. I would want it probably <laughs> tested more often than that. I actually wouldn't mind if it had some kind of chute that just carried you up the ladder and down. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're, you know, I think you'd agree having things tested before you put weight on it is a good very much so. And life, yes. testing is good, right? Yes, yes. Testing is good, and we're going to talk about that because God does the same thing with us. Mm. He has a great future for us, but he is not so foolish as to put us someplace that we can't bear the pressure. In fact, we find this in Luke chapter 8, talking about the seed, uh, the parable of the sower, a very famous parable. When the seed is scattered, uh, it sometimes fails, the Bible says, because trouble and persecution comes for the word's sake. It fails in, I'm quoting now, in that time of testing. That's Luke chapter 8, verse 11 through 15. Time of mm -hmm. testing. There's a time of testing for everything. Time Just of like testing. Just like that ladder, if you don't test it first, mm -hmm. when you are in a situation, the pressure's great, that ladder may not hold up. It may cave in. It may fall exactly apart. exactly right. Our lives have to be the same way because we All are right. in a warfare. So, there's pressure. That's right. So if you're going to qualify for promotion in God's kingdom, guess mm -hmm. what you have to pass? The pressure test. Everyone has to be tested. In fact, even Paul told Timothy, who was a pastor, before you put people in position as leadership, to test them first. Mm -hmm. Now, if that's Paul's instruction to Timothy, wouldn't you think God does the same thing? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. In fact, there's a very famous story that I want to bring out today that gives us a great illustration. It's, everyone knows it. it's David and Goliath, mm -hmm. King David. Now, the Bible says in, let me get the scripture right, 1 Kings chapter 15 that saw, I mean, uh, Samuel, the prophet, is being directed by the Holy Spirit to go anoint one of Jesse, that's David's dad, Jesse's son, mm -hmm. as king. And so he goes there, and you know the story. David's the youngest. He's out with the sheep, and Jesse brings his brothers in but leaves David in the field. Mm -hmm. He didn't even think he was worthy of the possibility he could be the king, right? But then Samuel anoints him as king, right? We know the story. Right. But the bottom line is, God was not happy with Saul. He so failed test. He failed his test. Mm -hmm. And he's now putting David in. And, and listen, listen what Acts chapter 13, verse 22 says about this. After removing Saul, God made David their king. God testified concerning David, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. Mm. Now, let's, let's take a look at this. What has David done? He's had to pass some tests. Okay, so Dave, <laughs> God says, I can testify. It means I know this is the fact. Mm -hmm. David will pass the test, or he, he will do what I want him to do uh, because he's after my own heart. But he hasn't taken Goliath on yet. He is still a shepherd. All right. So how does God know for a fact, and he can testify of David, that he will do everything he wants him to do when he hasn't done anything yet? Because he must have a track record ah, of yes. authority, working with his dad, killing the bear and the lion. You got it. That's right. The menial task, shepherding was a menial task, nothing mm. big about that. But David risked his life to fulfill the trust he had with him when no one knew his name and no one knew he was even out there. Mm. But God did, and he passed the test. God could then testify about him that he would do everything he asked him to do, and God calls that he had a heart for God. So, you know, 
you love what God loves, you hate what God hates. And you carry out God's assignments, you pass the test, but you don't pass it on the big assignment, not when Goliath's standing there, right. as you just said. Right. We pass it back here. Nor do you want to. You don't no, want you to don't face risk a lot that. of times people want a great authority, great platforms, they want position, power, mm -hmm. fame, fortune, finances, but they don't have the character test, they have exactly. not been under the pressure. And those things can actually be the very undoing of their life if they haven't already passed that's some right, tests. That's so right. People want those things, but they don't know sometimes the responsibility that goes and with where it. Where does that start? Making your bed. Mm, when you're Obeying your parents. Yes. <laughs> uh, being faithful at your first job. You know, getting up when you don't want to get up. I mean, we can talk about this, but you have to pass the menial task, the task of discipline and face bigger and bigger things to face the Goliath, which leads to your destiny. Mm -hmm. And so we were talking about passing your test. We, we did a series about this at church that I want to bring to this program today, but we're going to dig into this a little deeper because this is where so many people fail. Not when people know their name, but way back here, when they think it makes no difference and they don't, they don't really put their, they don't understand what's at risk when they're not being disciplined with that small task they think, well, no one knows I'm here. What's it? You know, I'm, this isn't my right. job. This is my future. I got a great future out there. I'm going to go after this menial task is nothing, right? Right. When it, when no one else can see, God still God sees though sees our choices, how we're handling basic things like how we treat our family, how we treat each other, uh, what we're doing with our finances. When it's yes. small, people say, oh. I'll give a lot of money to God when I make a lot of money. It's like, well, wait a minute. If you won't be faithful with little, you're not going to be faithful with much. Yeah, you won't be faithful with a dollar. You'll not handle the hundred dollars. That's right. right. Colossians chapter 3, 23 says, whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart mm -hmm. as working for the Lord, not for human masters. That's a key that we need to remember. And we're going to come right back and jump into this topic. Can God trust you with yourself? Be right back. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.